Hey everybody, I'm back. So, um, I did disappear for a while. I had a bunch, some things come up in my life that, uh, took precedence over doing YouTube videos, things like that. But I am back now, and a lot has changed. Um, number one, the Silverado, or the, I guess we'll start with the old, we'll start with what I had, everything I had. So the Porsche is still around. Basically, nothing has changed. The car still has no engine in it. It's sitting in storage over um, at a relative's house in their barn. Um, and I actually have sold the original engine. And basically, time just kind of got away. The Oldsmobile, sold. Gone. I actually sold that a couple months after my last video. Um, just one of those deals that I kind of got the car roadworthy, got it running, got it going, and decided to sell it. Uh, the Silverado, I actually uh, just sold that a few weeks back. So the Silverado is now gone as well. Um, I was given an offer I can't refuse with how uh, kind of crazy the, the used vehicle market is right now. Um, so the, the Silverado is gone and I have purchased my replacement. Um, we will be getting to that here in a moment. Um, and I, I'm very excited to, uh, to show you all and uh, show you the, uh, the little bit that, uh, that we're gonna do today and uh, go over some plans um, a few plans for it as well. So uh, I hope you guys uh, are excited and let's go ahead and hop so this into is uh, my uh, new to me 1995 Ford F-150 XLT. I uh, was lucky enough to find this truck. I was given an offer I couldn't refuse on the Silverado and uh, still wanted to get back into a truck and this is what I came up with. This thing only has 98,000 miles. As you can see the interior is just about perfect. There are a couple little things here and there that we do need to fix. There's one crack in the dash, and the uh, the seat belts are pretty torn up. Let's uh, go ahead and hop inside here and uh, go through a couple other things. As you can see, this is the uh, the four wheel drive model. It's pretty well bone stock interior. Uh, you will see a couple things that I did. I pulled a, a CB mount out of here, and uh, that's pretty much all I've done in the interior so far. Um, the AC wasn't working, so we did. Um, I did recharge that, and the AC is working now. Um, the uh, head unit was already in the in the truck when I got it. So let's go ahead and uh, start it up, and uh, let's show you what's going on. So as you can see, as you can see, ninety eight thousand eight hundred and thirty four miles. Nice low mile truck. I was really lucky to find it. Uh, the amazing thing is, both tanks work. Let's, uh, we'll let that sit and go up. As you can see, the, uh, the back tank is full. So it will uh, fill up all the way. We'll keep that on the front tank for now. The uh, Amazingly, I mean, everything works. The power, power windows, the power mirrors, power door locks. Everything works. Uh, the only thing that doesn't, I guess the only other thing that don't work are the uh, the two spotlights that were on the truck. The, neither of those do function at this point. I'm thinking about uh, seeing if I can either get them working or replacing them with working units, something like that. You see, right now I've got the I've got the back seat folded down. I actually had no idea it did fold down until I tried it. Uh, I think that is a really really cool feature. Um, I love the fact that this truck is a, uh, a bucket seat truck, so we do have. The two seats plus the center console, which the center console is huge. But I mean, this is just a really nice example of an old pickup truck. This is the uh, the 351 Windsor, the uh, 5.8 liter V8. Uh, basically, all I've done under the hood here is I threw a battery in it, and like I said, recharge the AC. They also did throw brand new tires on it. They were 11 year old tires that were on this truck when I got it. And then I also found out in the past about 11 years, the truck's done about 8,000 miles. Uh, the other thing you will see later in the video is we did put uh, brand new tail lights on it. The old tail lights were just pretty faded and new ones were $8 a piece. The paint itself as well is pretty faded. I think I can get most of it to come back except for where, I, where the clear is failing. As you can see, right here that's the red it's supposed to be that's the red the truck is now so uh that's one thing uh, we will uh we'll, we'll get to that see if we can't uh polish this out see if we can't get the paint fixed up um but i mean it's amazing because you open up the bed of, you look at the bottom of the bed of this and it's absolutely perfect down there 
I got really lucky finding this truck. I, I was gonna say, I hope you guys follow along, stick around, and uh, we'll see what happens. As uh, we'll go ahead and roll the footage now of everything we've done so far. All right, so these are the old tail lights. As you can see, just they're faded. They got covers on them, which are okay. I'm just not a huge fan. And I figure, you know, instead of trying to take the time to get these covers off and restore these tail lights, I can spend eight dollars a piece and get brand new ones. I missed and they're actually hiding under these covers so I will have to peel these covers off there are two more screws one here one here so I'll go ahead and get this cover peeled off and we'll go from there new to the old so uh, here's the old here's the new as you can see just nice clear clean whereas these old ones are pretty uh pretty banged up so let's go ahead and get the new one popped on comparison that's the uh, old right there right there that is the new I just think that looks so much nicer so much cleaner I will say uh, one thing is when you are tightening these uh these down don't tighten too hard because you can pretty easily crack the plastic um, you want to make sure they're good and snug and they're actually fully in place um, but you don't need to go really cranking on them or anything like that Next thing I wanted to do is I think we're going to try to pull this old uh, CB mast off here. As you can see, it's just cracked, destroyed. They've already pulled the CB radio out of the, the cab of the truck. So, I mean, I'm probably going to pull this mount and see about pulling this mast and uh, just clean it all up. I finally got that off. Basically, there was an 11 mil bolt on the back side, and I just got a medium length socket and was able to kind of stuff it back there, use the ratchet and break it free. Once it was free, then I took my flathead screwdriver and pulled it the rest of the way out. Um, that was a little bit of a pain in the butt, but uh, I think it's definitely going to make things look a whole lot better and a lot cleaner. you guys have enjoyed this video uh, so just go over a quick list of uh, plans for the truck basically my plan is to just clean the truck up make it look really good I've got a bunch of parts on the way plus a lot of more parts that I, I know I want to get um, one of the things I've got on the way already is a, a master bushing kit for the truck a lot of the bushings are pretty well shot um, number two is um, I do have a trailer brake controller on the way for it um, we'll do a quick video on that as well for the installation uh, what else do I have on the way? Uh, just a bunch of little ancillary things at the moment. Um, other things that I, I do plan on replacing here somewhat soon, um, obviously the, the front two seat belts, they are pretty well torn up. Uh, I believe in some of the shots you can see the passenger one, the driver one's even worse. Um, so those, uh, those will be replaced here soon. 
Um, at some point, we will also dive in a little bit to the steering. Um, there's a pretty decent dead zone. I want to see how much better it gets after I replace the bushings. I, I know that will help improve things, um, but I want to see how much farther we need to go into the, the steering aspect of the truck. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did like it, please uh, like the video, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you have any uh, any ideas or anything, um, you guys know pretty common about these old trucks. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm uh, be very happy to happy to uh, hear what people's thoughts are.